My name is Mario. I'm a designer. I was using Adobe Acrobat, but I switched to Docfly. And for more reviews like this, click on the link below. A huge thing, at least in our company, is working with PDFs. Everybody in the world, for the most part, works with some type of PDF or version of it. So one challenge we had was that these products helped me to combine PDFs, to be able to sign PDFs, because with COVID and all that going on, you can't really go face to face with other people and other businesses so freely. So signing PDFs is a big thing, um, as well as converting them. So those are huge things that the both softwares help me to do. What I like about Docfly is that I can do it online and I can upload PDFs and then bring out PDFs right from you know my my browser onto my desktop that's one of my favorite things about Docfly. Adobe Acrobat is in my opinion best for editing it's got a lot of editing tools um, especially at the top ribbon the taskbar has a lot of different tools that it's almost like if you're somebody who uses software like AutoCAD or Photoshop it's a lot it's a lot like that and it's all nicely thought out and placed uh, in the same ribbon all the same tools so it's well organized so the onboarding with Docfly was real easy. You get online, punch in docfly.com, you can start using their stuff. It was really, onboarding was almost no time at all. With Adobe Acrobat, they want you to you know, put your email in, sign something, download something onto your you know, computer. And when I say something, I'm talking about the software itself. So it took a little longer. Um, and then to know where all the tools are at, you know, because there's so much of it, it did take a, a little bit longer, more time to, to find it and, and get used to it. The top considerations when looking for this type of software, at least for myself in my personal experience, is price and ease of use. With Adobe Acrobat, you could have the basic version which is free, but you're not going to be able to combine PDFs, you're not going to be able to convert PDFs. If you want to even edit something you had already placed in, like say you put text in, in the PDF and you want to edit it, you got to buy it, you got to buy that subscription. So price to me for Adobe was was there, but with Docfly it was free. And you can do all that for free, just not as much. If you want to do too much, then they raise the price. But for me, the main consideration was price and ease of use. And the price we just talked about, but the ease of use, Docfly, super easy. You go on it, you throw your PDF, drag it onto the browser, and you can edit it right away. With Adobe, you gotta open it up in Adobe, make sure you have Adobe on your computer. So to me, uh, price and ease of use were the two main functions and that's why I chose Docfly.